came from Venus. I'm feeling way too hot, high-headed, I got a fever. I came from heaven and made it to hell, now I got ether. Should've believed you, damn, you should've believed me. She took a dab of that, till she had cataracts. Grabbed the rack, she had a MAGA hat. I tapped the back to Adam Zap. Uh, I told her, Mag the rack. My dick couldn't even fit half the cap in the Cadillac. Take a dab of wax with a battle lax, not your average cat. Uh. Why don't they give me a break? I learn from mistakes, I'm earning my pleasure. Yeah. Man, I'm just raising the stakes. I'm tired of just wait and losing my patience. Yeah. I'm in the whip. Hey, you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Naughty Love Movement. It's your girl, Nikki, bringing you the latest and trending topics, celebrity gossip, and recap on all your favorite reality TV shows. Before we get into today's content, please remember to hit that like, subscribe, and that bell button so you could be notified when I update content to my channel. Also, leave comments and share my content on your different social media platforms. I appreciate all the support Thus far, we are over 10,000 views. We're on the path to 1K subscribers. So keep up the good work, Naughty Crew. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to order those head wraps. We have them for men, women, babies, kids, you name it. We have we have beautiful fabrics from Nigeria. Um, all sorts of textures. Because depending on the season, that's the type of head wrap you wear. You know, in the wintertime, you wear the heavier fabrics. In the summertime, you wear the lighter fabrics. But... Place those orders and follow us on our social media platforms. We're located on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And all that information will be in my description box below. So today, you guys, oh, I came across this story and I wanted to share it with my naughty crew because I'm so anti-Karen and Kevin's out here in these world, this world. Like there is a certain group of people, a set group of people where they feel like they need to walk around and tell color people what to do, okay? And quite frankly, I'm, I'm quite sick of it. And they just need to have several seats. But here over here at um, Naughty Love Movement, I'm here to expose them all because we are no longer taking this behavior, okay? Because <laughs> racism has to end. Racism has to end one way or another. And I'm just tired of, um, in this day and age, like we're all human. Like we all bleed red. We all go through the same circumstances um, as far as like life, okay? Um, this theirs is a little easier than ours, but you know, we gotta work a little harder, but that's a story for another day. But I found this commentary and I thought it was interesting because it was a Karen, an older Karen, that felt like she needed to tell a young man what to do. And he's just outside of the supermarket selling his candy bars the way children do when they want to make money. And she felt the need to tell him what to do. So let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, I got no, I got me some footage for y'all. Okay. Here we go. And shout out to um, Indisputable for posting this. I appreciate this commentary. Hold on. Well, you should be. Well, you should be. Well, you should be. How much candy is there? How much? How much is all that? Yes. I'm buying it all. Fine. I'm buying it all. I'm going to buy it all. I'm going to give away all these people. Go ahead. You should be ashamed of yourself. I am not ashamed of myself. I'm standing up. Yeah, you're really standing up for them, yelling at them. Oh, and they take them all around the country, and we should see how they live. They're doing fine. Yeah. So this now, child is way too young to learn that lesson, but he did. Exactly. Exactly. This child is standing there trying to earn an honest living, 
being respectable, and she felt the need to intrude on his space, okay, and tell him he couldn't sell there. Like, what gives you the right, lady, to tell anybody else's child what to do, number one, okay? And then you got mad because the anti-Karen, who I want to shout out, like, he's the hero in this, stood up to your trifling behind and let you know you was wrong, and you got upset. That little boy did not do anything to you. And this behavior is going to come to an end. We're no longer taking it. And shout out to all the anti-Karens out there. We need everyone to step in for this behavior to end, okay? The sense of entitlement is over. Everybody's struggling in America, in America even the rich people. Oh, drop down into my comments, Naughty Cool. Let me know what you think about this. I love that that man stepped up for that little boy when someone was trying to take advantage of him, basically. And shame on you, lady, as old as you are, spreading venom out there and, and, and introducing that boy to discrimination so young when he's out here striving trying to earn an honest living. He's not in trouble. He's not bothering anyone. He's not doing anything illegal. You know how many kids I see at the supermarket always selling this stuff? But because he's a colored boy, it's a problem for you. Drop down into my comments, Naughty Crew. Let me know what y'all think about this racism in this day and age. Until next time, Naughty Crew. I'm out. One. Little niggas came from Mars, y'all came from Venus. I'm feeling way too hot, high-headed, I got a fever. I came from heaven and made it to hell, now I got ether. Should've believed you, damn, you should've believed you. She took a damn.